In the ongoing drama of evolution, species come and go. They live, they compete, they die out. Extinction is the termination of a species. We can think of a species having a birth date, it lives for a while, it goes extinct and it dies out. 95 to 99 percent of all species that have ever been on the planet have gone extinct. On average, a species dies out after four million years of existence. It could take less time, it could take much more. But it's all part of the normal process of extinction. Always there, always happening. Conditions change. A new predator arises, perhaps the climate changes, perhaps a mountain range suddenly appears geologically. Through those processes, this particular species is no longer able to live, it dies out. The extinction of species that can't adapt or compete creates opportunities for new species, new forms of life, in an endless cycle. So evolution and extinction are in balance. But what happens when a planet-wide catastrophe kills off many species in a great mass extinction? The game of evolution has changed its rules a little bit when one of these massive extinction events takes place. Suddenly, you've leveled the playing field. It was a level playing field that made our very existence possible after a mass extinction 65 million years ago. Now it's we who may be causing a new one, but this time we may not be as lucky as we face evolution's severest test 